bravo, just bravo. That, 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 that wasn't a bad anime original ending. That was awesome. So, if you guys don't know it already, Akame could kill. The fight is over. The series is almost over. Uh, I guess one more episode left. But, they actually managed not to kill everybody, but they actually killed the main character. They killed off Tatsumi. Rest in peace, Tatsumi. He was the best character of this anime. God, I mean... I, we got to see Bulat back. He was shouting in Kurgio. We got, we got to see this god form in Kurgio. We got to see the Emperor. The little kid. You know the little kid? He actually did something. And he um, brought out the Shika Taser, which is the Supreme Imper Imperial Arms. And this is the trump card. This is the final resort. And when I mean final resort, it just destroyed any, everything. It was a doomsday device. And the Emperor is going like, Emperor, you must do this. And then Tatsumi's going like, well, think about what you're doing. All, all the powerless are dying. Think about what you're doing. And then the Emperor's going like, Shh, Emperor, don't listen to this um, peasant. What do you think about this bl blast for me? And then it's just, it's Tatsumi versus the Emperor. And this is about to go down. We have Leone. We have Leone. We have um, that wing guy. He's back. I haven't seen him in a long time. And then we basically have the Revolutionary Army with the citizens that are rebelling against the government. And it's just, whoa, like, it's about to go down. This is the final battle. But the thing that sucks is that Tatsumi died. We got two We got two major feels. I mean, I didn't feel anything because this is the anime original ending. But just Tatsumi's dead. I really didn't think he died. I thought Akami would die. I thought probably SS would die. But, I mean, Tatsumi lost a bunch of blood, but he died. But he died trying to save the capital, which he wanted to be a hero in the first place. So there, there you have it. I mean, he died. He died being a hero. I mean, you can't really cry at that when you see your your favorite character doing something noble. And honestly, he's not dead in spirit, but he's not dead in spirit, but he's dead with his body. But dude, okay. we got to see Bulat. Bulat. We haven't seen him since episode seven. Yeah, we haven't seen this guy since episode seven, and he's. Uh, um, he's dead. He's going like, Tatsumi, you knew you knew people would die along the way. You chose that path. And he says, now, shout it out with your blazing heart. And then he says, and Kershio. And then if you look on the thumbnail, there's like this god this god form in Kershio. It's golden. It has wings. And so like, whoa, like, what? Whoa, that, 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 that imperial, imperial arms just, that, that was impressive. I mean, this entire episode, even though it's not manga, even though it's not with the manga, like, this was, this is really good. This is a bad, good way to end the series. Best ending ever. I mean, the character dies, but come on. You guys always know that these main characters in dystopian society, they never live. I mean, Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games, you're gonna die soon. But still, all the main characters from these dystopian society um, animes, manga, novels, movies, I don't care what you want to call them, but any main character that's always in a dystopian society um, setting, they're always going to die. They're going to die saving society, or they're going to die losing to society. And in this case, Tatsumi died saving society. He saved the Empire. The Empire fell, but he saved everybody else, and he died a hero. So that's more enough. That's more enough than... That was the best way to... That's the best way to die ever. My opinion I would die like that and yet Akame, Akame was crying because he didn't survive he died he died obviously and then as that's just looking at Akame and Tatsumi and then she's a little shocked too she's saying that oh Tatsumi's dead so this was really good I mean, we got a good episode of SAO here we are a good episode of Akame can kill I literally thought it was gonna be a bust but I'm actually impressed how they actually pulled pulled through with this anime original ending now White Fox Studios. I gotta give, I gotta salute them. White Fox Studios, they, ne they didn't follow the manga, nor I think we're gonna get a second season, and they're gonna follow the manga from there. If that second season is true, I gotta give props to White Fox because I really hope that they'll make another, like a, another parallel universe, like they're doing with Tokyo Ghoul Root A. But, um,. Yeah, really good way to end the series. Uh, tell me, guys, what you think in the comments. Should Tatsumi have died? Should he have 
live trying to save the capital? Or do you think... What do you guys think of this episode overall? I give it a 9 out of 10. And I'm really impressed how they pulled this off. Why Fox Studios, man? I'm impressed. I gotta give you props. I'm thankful for making for you guys making this anime original ending. Um, thank you guys so much. And um, yeah. And for you guys, my subscribers, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And be sure to comment, hit that like button, like it stole something, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more anime reviews and gaming if you guys like it too. And be sure to stay tuned for some more anime reviews. And because I'm about to do some reviews on some animes that I've watched. But yeah, still, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They'll be right down there in the description. Thank you guys again so much for stopping by. Tell me guys thoughts in the comments below. And until we meet again, see ya.